Hi folks, Mike the Car Guy here, and today I just wanted to talk to you real quickly about the missing link in social media. What it is, it's deceptively simple, it's actually in the name, social. That's the part that's missing the most in business social media. If you're in business, you're in sales. And if you're in sales, chances are you want to bring everyone's attention to you and the product you sell as much and as often as possible. But just for a moment, step out of that persona and imagine being at a family get together or a party or any place there's a lot of people gathered. And remember that one guy, there's always one guy or a girl that walks in and just starts promoting themselves in any conversation. Doesn't matter what the conversation's about, all of a sudden it turns into, hey, who's your insurance or who, where'd you buy your last car? And they just start pumping information randomly to anyone that'll listen. It's, it's a little awkward at some point and sometimes it's kind of off-putting. And that's really what businesses are doing on a bigger scale in social media. They're just constantly pumping out information. We got the lowest interest rates. We got the best rebates. We got the lowest prices. Come see us. Come see us. We got huge inventory. If a customer is online and they're looking at their phone or on the computer and they're on Facebook and they happen to stumble on a, a car dealership site, they know that you sell cars. They know that you're going to have low interest. They know all that stuff. They don't need to be beat over the head with it. So being social comes down to just doing the same thing that you do personally. If you're on Facebook and you see something that's interesting, chances are you're gonna like it. You may even share it so that people who are friends with you that chances are have the same type of interests may wanna see it. And what happens after time is you gather an audience, you expand your sphere of influence. That's the same thing that we can do with business. If you look at it from that standpoint and stop thinking about just search and SEO and what keywords are gonna get ranked high enough, what you want to do is, is build an audience and create a culture of trust and establish yourself as the business that is central to all these customers that are in your area. And if you do that strategically and focused, you can build a customer base online that will replace all your advertisements, your email blasts, and all the things that you're doing just because it's comfort zone stuff. How many times have you heard a GM walk up and say, oh, we got to do an ad this weekend because our week sucks, we blanked yesterday, so let's run an ad or let's do an email blast. If you're constantly feeding information out to your customer base that's interesting, entertaining, and relevant to them, you won't have to do that kind of stuff anymore. But it does take work. It takes effort. It takes time to, to curate content. It can't just be posting vague, generic, robotic posts that say, look at this pretty car. Would you like to drive a car like this? Hashtag Monday motivation. It just doesn't get seen. After a while, it just becomes white noise in the background and people scroll past it, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook, Twitter, wherever you're at. You've got to make sure that it's an engaging, interesting post that's specific to that feed. You can't post the same thing you would post on Facebook to Instagram. It just doesn't work. The audiences are different and they're looking for different things. It's complicated. I understand. Believe me, I, I'm knee deep in it and I know how busy you are running a business in the car business. So if you need help, I can help. Give me a call. My name is Mike the Car Guy. But at the very least, take a look at your social. Make sure that you're doing the right thing so you get the right message to the right customer at the right time. Have a great day.